Hello everyone and welcome to Old News. Today we have a very special subject for you and we're not alone. We're here together with... Niek Schenkerveld. Hi everyone. Hi. Niek, you are from Dutch TMC. That's correct. What's Dutch TMC in a, well, in a nutshell? Dutch TMC is a tactical medical company and on YouTube we do a very wide variety of different YouTube um, 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 subjects. And one of them, I already did that, and that was the topic that we're going to talk about today, but I did it in Dutch, so yeah. it didn't get a lot of views. <laughs> today we're going to talk about the difference between the Caduceus and the Asclepian. True. So we're going to find that out today on Old News and Dutch TMC. Everyone and welcome back to old news and Dutch TMC. Dutch TMC, sorry, yeah. Dutch TMC, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Nick, first of all, before we start explaining all our stuff, why are we actually here together? Yeah, that's a very good question. <laughs> we, we we know each other for a while. You actually worked for me also uh, quite a bit, and um, we always kept in touch. And there was one topic that was grinding my gear for such a long time and it was the misusage of the misconception about the Asclepius faces the Caduceus yeah. and um, being in a medical field and loving history I find it so important that we know that we are using the right symbols and I've seen that it has been going on for such a long time that the wrong symbols are used for the wrong reasons yeah. and I hope that this will help people out knowing better which one is the right one and which wrong is the wrong one especially for medical purposes yeah exactly because you have your own uh, company in uh, medical uh, supplies but also in trainings yeah, and all those yeah. kind of things yeah. and of course as you know we have a, a company in uh, well doing historical documentaries movies like this so we combined our forces yeah. to actually tell the difference between the Caduceus and the Asclepius because they are used today in modern medicine but well quite wrong actually as we will yeah, find sure. out. And a lot of medical companies, big medical companies make exactly the same mistake. So every year when we go for example to Medica, that's a big international medical fair in Dusseldorf, I see those mistakes make and be made over and over and over again and I hope this will help out with sorting that problem. Sort of. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, we're gonna talk about the difference between the Caduceus and the Asclepian today. But first start with the historical basis. Asclepius was, the, uh, was a god of medicine in ancient Greece, or actually a hero that became a god and was the son of Apollo. And he took over uh, the healing powers that Apollo already had and now use them for uh, curing the sick and the weak. Um, his tradition, his, the, the Greek tradition of uh, uh, worshipping uh, Asclepius in a way, also um, redirected to the Roman Empire and in the Roman Empire he was also uh, worshipped in a way. So there is an important uh, myth sur uh, surrounding the, the, the origin of the Asclepius. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning there was uh, Asclepius, he was um, well treating a man called Glaucos, that is a myth surrounding it. And when he was treating this man who was very, very sick, a serpent came into the room and, uh, well, Asclepius was so, uh, Asclepius was so, I don't know, scared maybe. Frightened. Frightened maybe, yeah. that he took his staff and smashed the uh, serpent so that the serpent died. But then another serpent came into the room with a small bit of medicine in his in his mouth or mm -hmm. a, a leaf of somewhere a medical leaf and put it into the other dead snake's mouth and the snake came back to life and uh, Asclepius saw this as sort of a sign on how to treat this man because he didn't know how to treat him and put the same uh, medical leaf inside the mouth of the man and mm -hmm. the man lived and he became better Mythology 101. Yeah, mythology 101. One. <laughs> this is how the, uh, well, in, in, in respect to these snakes that, he, that they learned him uh, this trick to save the man, he put uh, uh, a serpent around this staff, and that's where the original Asclepian came from. 
But, Nick, yes. there's another origin uh, that we can find. There are also, uh, we found some uh, symbols, the same sort of symbols of the Asclepius, already in ancient Egypt on the walls. There are sort of glyphs or hieroglyphs on the walls that show the exact same symbol as uh, Asclepian, uh, or Asclepius had as, uh, as the Asclepian. Okay. Um, another popular uh, uh, origin is actually the Bible, because there is a story about Moses, and Moses, the, the one who uh, led the uh, thousands of Jews through the uh, Red Sea. Um, that he had a staff with a bronze serpent surrounding it and everyone who looked into the eyes of the serpent or was bitten by it in some sort of way uh, miraculously healed of all illness or other things. So that's also an origin story but for this video and for the, the mistake we keep to the uh, well the, the staff, the Asclepian from Asclepius. So uh, Thomas what happened with the symbols during the Middle Ages because it looks like they kind of disappeared or something. Yeah, yeah, that's quite interesting. Because of the uh, rise of the Catholic Church or the, the Roman Church, you should say, um, you uh, see that the uh, symbol of the Asclepian slowly fades away as a medical symbol mm -hmm. um, because uh, people in the Middle Ages turned to other, well, they, they still use. Uh, uh, ancient medicine in a way but the symbols of the ancients were discarded and replaced for more Catholic or Catholic is the wrong word for this but more Christian okay. symbols so in the Middle Ages they used uroscopy and that is actually quite a bit nasty thing it's uh, thinking about it today yeah it's thinking nasty. about it yeah. today but in the Middle Ages they used uh, the, the as a form of medicine they uh, got a sick person's urine mm -hmm. and tasted it and that's how they could see someone had uh well different kind of sickness yeah um glucose problems for example. yeah glucose yeah. so yeah. high glucose will turn up in the urine and you can actually taste it yeah. yeah so that's quite interesting but then the medical symbol was changed from the asclepian to uh well a vial of urine actually that was the symbol of medicine yeah. in the middle ages so thomas did it remain through history like this or was there a certain point when when it started to change again when we saw the symbols coming back yeah yeah actually like i said um the knowledge about antiquity di didn't disappear completely during the middle ages and a lot of ancient works still remained especially uh in uh, the middle east there mm -hmm. they kept a lot of the uh well the books and interesting facts that they knew from uh, the antiquity and during the after the Reformation here, especially in northwestern Europe, we see that uh, Asclepian uh, of Asclepius starts to return as a, in statues and in other things, and also the Asclepian then starts to return as a medical symbol. Um, so that's actually when we see a sort of revival of this uh, of this symbol in the medical context. Okay. Well. And what now is interesting is we see um, uh, the revival of this symbol, the, the Asclepian from Asclepius uh, in medical fields. But yeah. this is the moment we see start. Uh, we see some difficulties. Yeah. Um, in the 17th century, we see this revival, but we also see the Caduceus starting coming up for. Uh, medical things from me medical organizations. The big difference is, is that the uh, Asclepian was only used for medical stuff and nothing else, whereas the Caduceus was also used for commerce, ph uh, pharmacy, and uh, other associations linked with uh, medical stuff, but also some other fields. Because the, the that this is maybe, um, yeah, we don't actually know why they suddenly start to rise like this, but yeah, we see yeah, sort of difference from so, the 17th century onwards. Yeah, from the 17th century you see that it just it starts to be and actually started to be mixed up. Yeah. Where it actually sh might not... Well, it's, it, it's not maybe mixed up, but then we see that they, they are both used uh, by medical organizations. So okay. we see the Asclepian and the Caduceus uh, used for these medical organizations, but the Asclepian is solely for that and the Caduceus was also used for other stuff. 
uh, Thomas, where actually did the Caduceus find its origin? So what, what does it mean? It, it is somewhere from the, from the mythology, but what, what does it actually mean? Where did it came from? Yeah, the, the, the Caduceus actually came, indeed as Nick said, it came from Greek mythology as well as the uh, Asclepius. Uh, it found its origin in Greek mythology with the god Hermes, who in Roman pantheon became known as Mercury, the trickster god in a way, and the messenger of the gods. But there was also another uh, well, field or uh, uh, sort of thing he was known for, and it was as a peacemaker of someone. And there we see the origins of the Caduceus. Because there's a story that uh, Hermes was flying somewhere, bringing something, doing what he does. And then he saw two serpents fighting each other. And uh, he, as a peacemaker, didn't want them to fight. So he put his staff, he also had a staff, in between them uh, to make them stop fighting. And suddenly they, uh, well, they were friends again, these serpents, and went around his stick. And uh, then you have the two uh, serpents' heads that are there. And that's where actually this comes from. Later on, um, uh, that's during around the uh, zero, uh, well, the, the, the beginning of our time, mm -hmm. um, uh, we see that uh, also the wings that Hermes had, Hermes had wings on his boots and on his head, uh, on his helmet. Um, we see that these wings also uh, are part of the Caduceus from then on. So that is an original that actually came in later. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. first of all, first it was just a stick with the two serpents, and from around 250 BCE or between 250 BCE and I think 100 uh, uh, AD, we see that. The wings are added. And yeah, nowadays you mostly see that you, for example, in the air mobile brigades, you see that it's been, it, it's been used like the wings, safety, and um, uh, like angels. Uh -huh. The wings are more affiliated with angels and protectors. Yeah, we christen them. Yeah, so it's something completely different than yeah. they actually were. So yeah. that's quite that's quite interesting. Yeah. yeah. So Thomas, in, in the not so long ago future. Yeah, the uh, 19th century. Yeah. We, we, we see that the, there's a massive rise in, in the usage of the caduceus incorrectly as a medical symbol. Yeah. Uh, how did that happen? Because this is where the problem lies. Yeah, that's interesting because this wouldn't be a collaboration if we didn't show the video on two channels. So if you want to find out where the change is, very interesting. Go to his channel. Go to my channel. Link in the, somewhere in the corners. Or here or there. Or here or there. But you can find out the second part why it changed and why the misconceptions started on Very important. Nick's channel. See you there. Bye bye.